What is up guys? Today we're just going to be fixing the bumper on the GSR Integra. And while we have the bumper off, I'm going to put the rest of the intake in. So if you've been following along with this project, I painted this whole car with Rust-Oleum turbo cans. And when I did it, I did it in like the early spring time, so it was kind of cold out still. And I had the wood stove going for it to dry overnight, but the front bumper was furthest away from the uh, from the wood stove, so I think that's why the paint is chipping off so bad. Because as you can see right here, this is a special bonding primer, which is also Rust-Oleum. And the primer is sticking fine to the raw plastic, but the paint just chipping off like crazy. So I'm pretty sure it's just because it, it didn't really get to dry well because of the cold temperature and the temperature dropping overnight in the garage. So we're gonna go get some more turbo cans. I already called ahead. There's a city that has them. I gotta make a road trip. So, you know, gotta top off the oil because it's a 200,000 mile Honda. But yeah, we're gonna see if we can fix that today. It is like almost 100 degrees out today. So yeah, and we're also gonna paint this. This is all Plasti Dip right now. So I wanna actually paint the lip and we'll see how it holds up. I'm also gonna check and see if they have the Rust-Oleum Professional Primer or whatever it is. The stuff I just used on my square body a couple weeks ago, I have a video on that as well, but um, I might do a, a coat of that on top of what's left here and maybe that'll help the paint stick because the primer is sticking good to the bumper, but the paint didn't stick well to the primer. But I, I, like I said, I think it's just because of the cold temperature drop. So it's gonna be an experiment. So yeah, stay tuned to I guess, see how this works. Given I just drove the car, so the oil is not all at the bottom, but we're gonna top her off. And for anyone that didn't know, this is the proper way to dump your oil in because it doesn't give you that splashing, annoying thing when you do it this way. It's more smooth when the oil comes out. How many of you have ever forgot to put your oil cap back on after an oil change or topping off the oil? Let me know, because I've done it twice. Not in this car, but a couple of my other cars. Hold up. stopping at the car wash quick as well so I can try to blast all the flakes off that I can and then it'll make it easier for sanding and prep. Just a disclaimer, I've never had Plasti Dip do this before. I made the mistake of uh, ceramic coating the lip before I did it and it just wouldn't stick. So new finish ceramic coating is very intense and works very well. I've never had a problem with Plasti Dip, but I plan on taking it off anyway, so that's why I kind of went really hard with the uh, pressure washer, because I've done whole cars before and pressure washed the entire car like really hard and it never peeled off. This is literally just because of the ceramic coating underneath it. And I think I got just about all the paint off. So this is white primer and this is that special bond, special bonding primer. So it's just like a white color. Oh, I guess there's a little bit of paint right there, but it'll be easy to get off. All right, so this is what we got. Obviously not going to use all this for just the bumper, but I just figured I'd get extra since I've been painting stuff here and there, like the box in my square body and all that. And this is that primer I was talking about. It's not special bonding primer, it's universal bonding primer. I was saying that wrong earlier, but this is that white primer that bonds the um, raw plastic and stuff. So I got that for the lip and then I'm going to do this on top of it just to, I guess, give it more leeway. Maybe this will stick better to this and then that'll stick on top. And as you saw on the car wash, like I went right up to the paint here with the 
um, pressure washer and nothing flaked off. Like the paint is sticking everywhere else perfectly fine. It was just the bumper. So yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, look at all the paint chips from blasting the front bumper. You're gonna have to clean that up one of these days or while I have the bumper off. Before I take the bumper off, I'm gonna scuff it up a little bit quick and then clean it off. It's just easier to do it with it on the car so it's more sturdy. And then I'm gonna take it off. All right, I got just about all of it scuffed up and cleaned up. I'm gonna pop the bumper off and then just get, or check the crevices a little bit more and around the eyeballs. And then we'll clean it again and then spray it. And this isn't like the best prep work either. Like you can see the paint here, this is the primer and then at where I've been working at it, it went through to the black. So my game plan is to do that universal bonding primer across the whole bumper. I'm not gonna separate the bumper this time because I really don't care that much, especially since I have the lip to cover the whole bottom part. But I'm gonna do a coat of that or two on the whole bumper and then do the professional primer, the gray, and then lay the white down. So hopefully it has enough tackiness through each coat to stick to each other. And I really don't care how my cars look. I just wanna try this. If you watch my other videos, this is the whole thing is a temporary paint job. I never clear coated it either. I forgot to mention that. It's never been clear coated. It's just a temporary paint job until I can, you know, win the lottery and have a professional repaint the whole car Milano red because I want to bring it back to its original color. But your boy is broke. I'm gonna throw a bumper on the car temporarily in case I need to drive anywhere. So I think I still have a blue one out here in the junkyard. Oh yeah, there it is. Uh, let's see how many spiders are on it. Any spideys or any snakes? Dang, rattlesnakes have been out like crazy. Now that's more my style. Can you pull this out for me? I'm gonna buzz the lip quick with some 320 grit. Well, this storm rolled out of nowhere. So I gotta try to move everything in the garage quick and hopefully finish sanding. That just nearly ripped my garage door off. I just barely got that closed. But it is coming down out there. God dang it. All right, that storm passed really quick, so thankfully that's over with. Uh, my OCD is kicking in a little bit, and I'm sanding the casting marks down. This is an aftermarket eBay bumper. Fits extremely well, but they just have like little casting marks from the plastic, so I'm just sanding that down, and then we'll be ready to spray. Oh god, we got round two of this storm. Alright, all taped off and wiped down. I'm gonna hit it with a couple coats of this. And always pre-shake all your cans before you start spraying. That way it's kind of already shaken up. You give it a little shake before you start spraying and you're good to go. That way you don't have to sit there for minutes at a time between each can. There's the first coat. Coat number two. I'll probably just hit it with one more quick light coat and then go to the professional gray primer. 
third coat of the universal bonding primer. I'm gonna let that dry for a few minutes and then I'll start hitting it with the gray professional primer. First coat of the gray primer. Second coat of the professional primer. And what I think I'm going to do with the bumper is I'm going to turn it right side up to spray the turbo cans because you can't spray these at like weird angles. So I think that'll make it easier because last time it was really difficult to get all the nooks and crannies without it acting up. All right, got everything flipped over. First coat of white. I do it like a really light coats because it comes out so fast and it's really hard to get in like the detailed areas. So that way you prevent runs and from being too thick. Second coat. The bugs are starting to come out, so I hope they don't get in the paint. I really don't want to close my door. One down. Uh, third coat. And starting third on this on the lip. Dang it. Stupid bug. Alright, here's the fourth coat. Pretty sure got most of everything covered. Had to close the dang door because of the bugs. So I'll probably hit it with one more just light coat to make sure I got everything covered. And then let it sit overnight. See how dry it is in the morning. Otherwise I might let it sit for a couple days before I put it back on the car. Alright, there's the last coat. Probably like five coats. Technically like three and a half because you know a lot of times I'm just trying to get in the small areas and whatnot but yeah. There is a final coat. Obviously gonna have orange peel because I'm not really caring about paint prep and it's a rattle can. And then I'm gonna let this get tacky and pull the tape off once it's a little tacky because if you wait for it to dry fully then you risk chipping the paint at the bottom where the tape line is. So I'll do that and then I'll come back to you tomorrow. Alright, it's the next day. It's late afternoon now, so I'm not going to have time to put it on the car, but I will put it on the car tomorrow. But this is all dry now. You can see the obvious orange peel, but to be expected. Well, other than that, it's dried pretty well. And the lip. All right, it is the next day. I just got back from church. I'm going to pull the car and move this stuff out of the way. And Well, I'm going to move the stuff out of the way first so I don't run over it. And then get the bumper back on. And sorry, this video is going to be a day late and it is going to mess up my algorithm. So if you do like the video, I appreciate it. Like and comment. It helps a lot. Man, every time I pop the hood of this car, I just love it. I love the look of a B-Series VTEC engine and just the OEM look. Let me know what your uh, favorite Honda engine is. I'm not much of a K-Series guy. I know they're really awesome engines. I just like the old school stuff for the most part and just the look of it better than a K-Series. I do respect K-Series though. And while I got the bumper off, I'm going to use some of this new finish Scratch Doctor to buff the headlights real quick. It's 
super easy and it gives you like instant results just to make it look a little bit nicer and then I'll probably do the ceramic coat over top of it to help it hold. I'm also going to ceramic coat the bumper. I know you're not supposed to with within like a week or whatever of painting but I did it to the rest of the car and it didn't do anything bad so I'm going to do it just for that added protection especially not having a clear coat and then but I'm going to do that while it's on the car and make it a lot easier. What I do is just put a little bit on here or on the headlight. Works for taillights as well. Oops. Just buff it in like any ordinary wax. And use a clean part of the towel or a different towel. And there you go. I mean, just for 30 seconds, what a difference. And these headlights are smoked. These have like over. 200,000 miles on them, there's a bunch of chips in them, and just to bring them back to life that that much better, it's crazy. So definitely recommend that. Not sponsored, just a quick tip. I almost forgot to put the box back in for the intake. I jacked the car up to make this a little easier to show, but just in case you're wondering how these factory boxes go in, this car didn't have one. I actually took it off. I think that white, or no, I got this in a trade. But anyways, um, you got one of these bolts here. You got this one here. And there's just one for this tube up top. And then this black tube goes up to the, um, the air box with the filter. And that's it. And then your fender liner would go down here, but mine's halfway gone from when I bought the car. So I forgot to put the little rubber ring in there, so I had to just drop this all back down. But I'm gonna swap out this like beige colored tube for a black one, same tube, but I just figured it'll look nicer, even though you're not gonna see it, but my OCD will know it's there. All right, now I'm gonna put this new finish, better than wax, ceramic coating on. Probably do two coats just so I get everything thoroughly and do the headlights as well. I'm not gonna video it, very boring, very easy to apply and very easy to use. Stuff works awesome. Now I'm gonna throw the lip on and ceramic coat it. So let's see if I can get it on by myself without breaking it or scratching the crap out of it. Man, that looks good. The rest of the car is absolutely filthy, but I, I'm gonna go take pictures anyways. I really can't wait to lower this thing. It's just gonna like finish off the look.
be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to follow my Instagram, Conjo underscore brothers, if you want to see more content, pictures, and stay up to date with all the nonsense that I'm doing. Also, we're almost to a thousand subscribers on YouTube, so once I hit a thousand, I'll be giving away a t-shirt, and just stay tuned to figure out how to enter for that, because as you guys know with the other giveaways that I've done, you got to work for it a little bit, because I don't have any of those fancy like generator website things or whatever, because I'm broke and I'm not going to pay a sweepstakes company to do work for me. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support. And hopefully here soon my truck will be done and I'll be able to spend more money on fun stuff rather than saving my money in case we go over budget on the build. So stay tuned for all that as well. I've got plans for the Integra and my other cars as well. So just really waiting on the truck to be done for any sort of money spending also if you do want a hoodie t-shirt stickers hit me up on instagram as well and see you in the next video and if you're curious to see how this uh, spray paint holds up just keep following along with the videos and my instagram and i'll be posting updates along the way this is my daily driver i drive this car a lot and put Thousands, thousands of miles on it.